This is about the Nickel Harper Boeing, beginning the Nickel Harper Boeing. If you have a flexible wrist, which I don't have, you may use the violin hold. Please see the sequence with the violin hold. As long as your hand is very flexible like this. But most people use the nickel harper hold where the pinky leaves the stick and the third finger goes on top of the stick. The middle finger may be down so the fingerprint can be seen between the arms of the frog here. Or the middle finger may be a little higher. The first finger is resting like a roof on top of the stick and pivoting around that point, but never moving this way. It just turns around there. This way it's easier to move the bow this way. The violin bow goes this way. That's why it's easier here to use the pinky. That's why I think it's better here to let the pinky rest. But the pinky must be in the air and must be bent. Fingers well together, just a little air goes between. We're now going to play what I call the saucepan stroke, which means that you take the string, you make the sound, you stop. You take the string, you make the sound, you stop. So first you build up the energy, then instantly 100% sound, and then zero, silence. Build up the energy, 100% sound, and silence. First of all, you decide what kind of tone you intend to play, how to approach the string. You choose stroking point, stronger sound, weaker sound, medium, which is the most common place to play. Decide about the intensity of the note, weak, soft, or aggressive. And pressure, and the speed, slow, thoughtful, or louder. First you press down the hairs. I'm going to make a downstroke now on the C string. Press down the hairs, then move the bow downwards. The string is moving but not sounding yet. And then you release the energy just like the uh, arrow leaves the bow. Stop. Build up the energy, press down, move the string upwards, still silent, and release the energy. Press down, pull down, press down, pull up, and it's okay if it sounds you start because this is a proof of that you have grabbed the string well instead of just you can't go from there to a good tone you must be very clear the intensity of the tone can be varied during the stroke So work with speed, stroke point and pressure. Try different ways, explore, experience, listen and try again. Make it different ways. Carefully do this in the mirror so you can see that the bow goes straight. And th there is very little use in this part of the bow. If you use this part, it's easier for you to 
stroke perpendicular to the strings. That gives a better sound. And all the time tilting the bow 45 degrees. Make the hold here. Soft yet firm, just like you're holding a kitten or a little bird in your hand. And the little animal is trying to get out of your hand, but it cannot because you are gently holding it back.